what is up guys, Kid Day here. And today we're gonna be doing a little dance. In general. Um the first thing I wanna say is that when I'm in a certain class, now the people that go to my school know what I'm talking about. Uh there's this class usually two hours long. The teacher spends about an hour and thirty minutes on four pages. That's at most. You know, usually it's only a three page section and it takes it takes her like an hour and thirty minutes to go over a couple of things about plants. Well that's not really the bad part. The bad part is that we can't do any work while she's sitting there and talking to us about the lecture that it's coming right out of the book. No, we can't do the assignments that she's going to give us because, like, she says we won't learn anything if we just do the problems, but that doesn't make any sense. I don't know about you guys, but when I do problems, they usually stick in my head. I don't know. But I can't even work on my other homework while I'm in that class, so it's basically an hour and 30 minutes of boredom and, like, getting yelled at for, like, slouching or doing something productive it's very it's very interesting i'll give you that um it's it's kind of annoying really how i have to like sit there for an hour and 30 minutes like what does she want me to do sit there and listen to her talk for an hour that i can i cannot sit still without doing something productive for more than an hour. It is absurd how she thinks that I'm going to sit there and listen to her talk for an hour and 30 minutes. Now, this only happens on like a day out of the three days that she teaches us. But still, that Wednesday is always the worst. I mean, the other two days are not as bad, but like they're still pretty terrible. I mean, the other two days she gives us a packet to work on or a quick lab, but I'm talking about science, by the way. Um, yeah, but other than that, it's pretty boring. I mean, it's basically a class where you can rest your legs. Now, I know some people actually get something from the lecture, but I don't, and I feel like there should be some for people who don't get much out of the hour lecture. Like, I don't know, maybe let us work on our other homework, or give us the packets beforehand, or maybe make your own packets. Hmm. Yeah, that'd sound like a better idea. <laughs> and you could uh, lecture us, and we go along with you and actually learn something. I don't know. Basically, ramble at this point. But, um, another thing that I want to get on with is the is projects. Okay. Now, the project in general isn't that bad. The only thing that really sucks about it is the poster board. Now, before poster boards used to seem really scary and, oh, how am I going to get this poster done in, like, a couple weeks? But now it's like, I could get this done on the last day. But that's not really the problem. The problem is that I hate poster boards. I don't do well doing poster boards. They always come out messy, or, um, they, they just don't convey my ideas that well. I mean, the people that go to my school, they'll, they'll know, if they've ever seen my poster, that they're one of the worst posters they'll ever see. I mean, my last, last year's poster was, like, this flimsy piece of paper with a bunch of pictures on it and some words. Like, it's more information than detail. I'm not that good at, uh, I'm not that good at making it neat, but I can put a lot of information on there, if I wanted to. But, I'd rather just do a very long essay, rather than a poster board. Because I could get a better grade on that. I don't know about you guys, but, really, a poster board seems kinda dumb. So, besides the poster boards, there's this one teacher, um, let's just make a hypothetical teacher, uh, 
a hypothetical Mr. Colorado. So, this Mr. Colorado, he gives us lots of homework, um, teaches out of the, his computer, and pretty much nobody likes him in our class, uh, our hypothetical class. Um, basically, he's just a bad teacher, in most pe people's opinions, but he he's really strict, which he has a good reason to be, because when he first joined, hypothetically joined, because if I was talking about a real teacher or anything like that, and one of my classmates found out about it, then they'd get, and then I'd get expelled probably, I mean. Uh, expulsion doesn't really look that good on my school record, so I'm just gonna keep it hypothetical for now. But, um, yeah, so he hypothetically joined when he did. The students sort of respected him, but after about the first two weeks, maybe, things just went downhill. He couldn't control the class, so after his first year, he decided to get really strict with us, and, uh, no nonsense policy and it just didn't go well with the kids now there's talks about this teacher leaving because like nobody really likes him everybody's complaining about him I mean, especially to the other teachers like if you ask anybody in our school about this hypothetical teacher then chances are they would say that they didn't like him there are a few that like this teacher, and remember, this is just a scenario. I'm not describing anybody at all, but, um, yeah, this teacher's, nobody likes this teacher. Last but not least are class pets. Most people don't like the, most people feel jealous and don't like these people. I don't really have a problem with them unless it interferes with me, but really... It's kind of, it's kind of dumb when the teacher prefers this one kid and never gives them any discipline. I mean, I'm not saying that I hate the kid. I'm saying that I don't really like the teacher's policy of a class pet. I mean, you could be doing something and you could be talking and the teacher would yell at you for talking while the other kids that are class pets they're they're talking they don't get it they don't get any discipline they don't get talked to at all and it's like what do you not hear them talking do you not see that they're playing a game it's pretty freaking dumb if you think about it somebody else gets no discipline while you get discipline I'm, i think i'm sounding like pretty i'm sounding like uh, I don't know how to put it, uh, jealous. I'm not really jealous. Well, maybe I am, I don't know. But, um, I would put it as, uh, I think it's unfair. You know, if you consider that jealousy, so be it. But, I just think it's unfair that other people get more discipline than others. Now, our class doesn't have any class pets, and I can, I can say that for a fact. Well, maybe except for one class, but I don't, I don't know. I can say for a fact that I don't hate any of the students at my school. I just dislike some of the policies there. Uh, thank you guys, and have a good day.